Greetings, Gatewood Gators, and welcome to our September monthly bonus, the first monthly bonus of school year. I hope you had a great summer, and I hope you're excited to get your hands dirty today because we are going to be harvesting seeds from our gardens. Now, this little garden patch behind me is looking a little sad. A lot of things are dying off. They're not looking so pretty because it's the end of the season. But what I will show you is that it is important to save all of these seeds in your garden for next year. Let's try it out. Here are some dead poppies that I found on my run. I can already see seeds already scattered all over. So I am going to just take the little tops and kind of crunch it around and shake it out a little bit and see how many extra seeds I can get. Fun tip, always bring a little plastic bag if you're going on a run or a walk in your neighborhood. And that way you can collect some goodies to bring home. Well, at the time of filming this video, these seeds are not quite ready to harvest. Keep your eyes peeled when it comes to roadside peas for these little green pods. Uh, in a little bit of time, they will be dried and ready for harvesting and you can harvest these seeds and replant pretty pea flowers. I have a bunch of different plants in this pot, including my lovely snapdragons. You can see these in a variety of colors. We have them growing in our school garden as well, but some of them have died off. But instead of seeing them as something sad and ugly, seeing them as an opportunity to gather some seeds for next year. Wow, look at how many seeds are just in that one little pod. You just shake it like a maraca and you can get quite a few. My beautiful marigolds are hitting again. I have some of these dead little guys that are ready to be harvested. Guess what? They are full of seeds. One of my favorite seeds to harvest are poppies because they are kind of like little pepper shakers. They have these beautiful little holes right up here. And when you turn them around and give them a shake, you can get some seeds. My favorite way to harvest poppy seeds is to put your poppies inside of a bag like this. Ooh, you can already see the seeds coming out. I zip it up and then I blow a little air in. Just like a balloon and then shake it up. Oh my goodness, look at all the seeds. Whether you grow sunflowers of your own or just bought them at the store, make sure to save them after they've gotten kind of wilty like this. You can keep the petals to do art projects with, but also this whole inside area is filled with seeds that you can dry and then keep stored away for next year. When it comes to storing seeds over the fall and winter before you plant them in your garden again, it's important to put them in an airtight container like a mason jar or some sort of Tupperware and keep them in a cool, darker space. That's an ideal setting. So I've got a mason jar here. I've made sure that all of my beautiful marigold seeds are nice and dry and I am going to put them in the container. I have way too many seeds for myself to grow alone and so what I want to do is keep on giving. I'm gonna I am about. going to be using a mixture of poppy seeds that I've gathered from around my neighborhood and bagging it up in a pretty way. If you would like to look back at the February 2022 monthly bonus, you can learn how to make paper heart seed bombs as well. If not, you're welcome to bag some up with me here. Now I have a Ziploc bag. This is just a tiny one, but you can use any kind of size bag that you want, as well as a piece of scrap paper that I have about the same size as the bag. I'm gonna fold it in half here, and I'm going to write whatever the flower is and a little picture of it and who I'm going to be giving it to on the back. I have made a little poppy seed mix label with some flowers on it and I wrote a little note to my mom just saying thanks for you and my mom and I hope you enjoy. I am going to use some glue or you can use some tape or a stapler if you don't have one and I am going to make sure to fill some seeds in here. You don't have to give them a ton of seeds. A little goes a long way. I'm going to do a solid pinch though. Maybe two pinches. Not that money. It's quite a few seeds and I'm going to seal it up. I'm going to glue one end of the inside of this like that and I am going to put the label on top. There we go. Now I have a little poppy seed mix I can give to my mom. Hope it makes her smile. 
wild gators from harvesting and canning and making little seed packets. I hope you had a good time. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled out for seeds that you can harvest in your garden, in your neighborhood, or even in a school garden. Thanks for joining me and tune in for our October monthly bonus. Bye!